Good morning, folks. Let's start with Noah's Carbon Tracker YouTube channel. Longtime viewers of my channel, shh, don't spoil it for everyone else. Indeed, CO2 is raging upward. Oh me, oh my. It would, however, be extremely helpful to see temperature curves alongside this, given how correlated we're told the two are in terms of climate change. Well, here you go. It's a few years old, but accurate, and all we need to see that, yes, human pollution has changed the CO2 situation. It's just that that's the exact time that we broke the correlation to temperature. Believe it or not, exposure of such misleading information is a crux of the counter-strike. Looking further ahead, Starwater Chapter 2 will hit the website end of September, building on our in-system examination in Chapter 1. But like this article, we'll be looking outside our system for water, where to find it, and what is its significance. Billy and Trev put this one on my list. Remnants of weakening Evo, reminding the Southwest how lucky they'll be not to take a direct hit. Fernan, officially formed in the Gulf, headed west but still sending rain east across Florida. Same story with the lows cresting southwest Australia, and they will stick mostly to the south as they head east. Euro lows are north of the continent and one weakening as it comes south. Italy, Greece, and nearby locations are still going to feel that one. Major high pressure pushing clockwise in the eastern states, helping to keep them drier while the energy and moisture won't allow that where it meets the Evo remnants and causes problems all the way up into Canada. Insert disappointing solar flare comment here. The big sunspot incoming has remained calm, but we'll continue to watch as it turns in. Looking at three days of solar wind via Soho, density spikes abound but no strong CME signature. Last 24 hours from ACE reveals the CMEs were either very, very weak or totally missed Earth. We did have some insignificant low energy proton spikes, but nothing else. Looking at the simple satellite environment plot, we see calm conditions on the high energy protons, the electron flux, the GOES magnetometers, and the KP index. The Indian Ridge continued its little uptick. We had another four pointer in California. As we see about half the time, this uptick rattles numerous unusual locations rather than creating larger magnitudes. Some locations, very unusual. We continue to keep this watch high. Mercury and Sun geocentrically conjoin with Neptune opposed, all while Venus and Uranus are geocentrically opposed. We have a powerful coronal hole coming in on the north, two magnetic connections jumping there already. Red down south means it's one of the more powerful openings on the Sun. Earth is below long-term averages with only one six-pointer in the last nine days. Watch score stays around eight and we hope it's more of those location shockers rather than large magnitude. Tiny eruptive feature center disk, won't be much of concern, no promises on that filament below it though, eyes open. No fear, it's 6.55 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.